Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to correct a failed firmware update on a DVD drive. This particular model is a Toshiba Samsung model number TS-H653B. I'm using a desktop tower to hook it up. That way you have to uh, attach the power to the back <clears throat> here. But I bought this nice adapter off of eBay. It's a IDE. SATA to USB adapter. Each end has a IDE for a laptop or desktop hard drive models. And the center here is your SATA cord connector. And this here is the USB port. So you just have to hook up the power to your DVD drive here and your SATA cable to the back. And when you're ready, you just plug in this USB to your USB port and your computer will recognize it. Uh, this hookup is uh, important. It allows for quick disconnect at the proper time for the update to work. So let's get started. Alright, got the desktop turned on. You can see the DVD drive in question has a constant green light. Unresponsive. So come here to the desktop. I'm going to create a folder to hold the downloaded firmware files. Right click anywhere. Go to new folder. And we'll type in the firmware name. There we go. Alright, now you want to go on the internet, type in your product, and then the word firmware, do a search. And the first one in sequence, looks like it's a Dell website. So you can feel pretty confident that's a secure website, safe to download the file from. So, here we go, download file, do save file, OK, now we got to go to the desktop and find the folder we created, here it is, click on that, open, and save. And since we had a failed update attempt, we need to also get an older version of the firmware. Which is this next one down here. Website called firmwarehq.com. You can see they got two versions here. One's older than the other, so we'll download the older one since we got the newer one from Dell. Save file. It automatically pulls up the last folder that we used to download to, so we can just go to save. Now we can close our browser window. Now we're ready. And an important thing that I like to do is when I download files off the internet, it's not a bad idea to run a virus scan on them to make sure they come up clean as far as the virus software is able to detect. So it's a compressed zip folder from Dell. Right click your mouse, go to scan. No threat found, so that's good. You can also unzip and then scan the individual files too. Not a bad idea. But I already know it's safe because I scanned it earlier. Even after they were extracted. But anyway, Let's go ahead and right click again, do extract all, automatically chooses the folder that we downloaded it to, so I'm just going to say extract. Now you can see it put a folder here with extracted files. 
one for DOS, one for Windows. We're going to use the Windows one. But before I get started, I'm also going to scan this one from the other website that was not Dell. <clears throat> Looks good. Go ahead and launch that one. That automatically extracts the files out of there. Wait a minute, that wants to put them in Dell folder, but we want it to go to uh, the folder we created. So we'll go back here to desktop. Oh, sorry, there it is, down the bottom. All right, do OK, and OK. Now you can see the uh, files extracted from the old firmware version. Uh, they end in .bin. You can see this is D300. The newer one is up here in the Dell folder as a D400BIN. So, we launched the D400 and it failed, so this time we're going to do the 300, which should be successful, and once that's successful then we'll go back and do the 400 again so we can be updated to the latest version. So, next step is to plug in the DVD drive. As you can see, I already got it hooked up in the back of the drive. Got the power cord, USB cord with the adapter going to USB. So plug that in here. Should be detected and installed. So Next, we'll go ahead and launch the firmware update program. And there's our drive there in the list. The bottom one here, H653. And this folder here on the top left that selects the uh, file we want to use to upgrade the firmware, which in this case is the older version. So now let's find uh, firmware folder, a D300 bin, and then open, and then go to the green middle icon, starts the firmware process. Click on that. And then watch your DVD drive. See the light blinking? Means the firmware update is in process. And there'll be a pause and it'll continue on. If you let it continue all the way, you'll end up with a frozen drive again with the constant green light. So, what you want to do is wait for that pause and then you want to pull the USB connector out to stop the uh, upgrade process. There we go. Ah. Failure. This time we're going to try the old version again, see if we get a successful flash with that first. Looks like we did. That's what you want to see for a successful flash. So, we successfully flashed it to the older version of the firmware. Now hopefully, we'll try the newer version and 
that should be success as well. Now you can see according to the program we got to restart the computer. Even though it says update failed. Update files. <clears throat> Open up the Windows one. Click on the application file here to launch the firmware update. And then choose the appropriate drive, which is this one. And go to the left folder here to find the firmware update file, which is the BIN file, contained in the same folder as the firmware program. Then this green icon here actually starts the update process. So you click on that to launch the update and then watch the action of the drive as I'll show you. As you can see the light blinking fast on the drive indicating the firmware update is in process. What you want to do is keep an eye on that. When that light quits blinking you want to unplug the USB cord from the front or wherever it's plugged into your desktop to interrupt the uh, program. There we go. And then you can see here you get a message saying the update failed, restart your computer. So we'll go ahead and restart the computer. Alright, I just did a successful flash to the latest firmware version. I'll show you how to double check to make sure it was successful even though the message on the screen would have said update failure. Okay, pull up the firmware. Whoops, got to choose the correct drive here. Choose the up firmware file. You can see it says D400 for the old version and the new version because I had a successful flash last time. Otherwise, it would say boot in the old version if it was unsuccessful.